It's called the most exciting two minutes in sports. On the first Saturday of May in Louisville, Kentucky, the sports world holds its collective breath for the fastest two minutes in sports. The Kentucky Derby is a grade one stakes race for three-year-old thoroughbreds running for a distance of one and a quarter miles. It's also the first leg of the American Triple Crown followed by the Preakness Stakes and then the Belmont Stakes. Back in 1872, Colonel Meriwether Lewis Clark, the grandson of William Clark, of Lewis and Clark fame, traveled in Europe watching horse racing and eventually helping to organize a race in Paris. Upon his return to Kentucky, he was instrumental in raising funds to build what was to become Churchill Downs, named after the men who provided the land for it. The first derby was held there in May of 1875 with 15 horses in front of 10,000 people. In 1952, the race was broadcast on the radio for the first time over WGN in Chicago and WHAS in Louisville. In May of 1952, the first TV broadcast aired. Not too much has changed about the Kentucky Derby over the years. The purses got bigger, the crowds got bigger, but the one thing that we love about the Kentucky Derby most of all is the tradition. The mint juleps, the singing of my old Kentucky home, the command, riders up, the adrenaline of the race, the lush blanket of roses that drapes the winning horse. There have been some spectacular races over the years. Come from behind wins, photo finishes, even a few triple crown winners. And there've also been some monumental upsets. In the spirit of celebrating the underdog, here are some of those horses that literally beat the odds stacked against them. Donarail was the winner in 1913, and his victory stands as the biggest long shot win in the history of the Kentucky Derby. He was owned, bred, and trained by Thomas P. Hayes. Close to the final stretch, jockey Roscoe Goose climbed from fifth place to take the lead and win by a half length. At 91 to one odds, he had a record-setting payout, $184.90 for every $2 bet. In 1918, Exterminator exterminated his competition, winning the Kentucky Derby at 30 to 1 odds against the heavily favored War Cloud. He actually had the same sire, McGee, as Donarail. Exterminator exchanged hands as he was sold a few times and was actually used as a training companion for a different horse. But when that horse was too ill to compete in the Derby, Exterminator, after some convincing by trainer Henry McDaniel, was entered into the race. On a rainy, muddy track, jockey Willie Knapp reluctantly got on Exterminator, who hadn't competed in over nine months. The win both launched his successful racing career and exterminator into Kentucky Derby lore. There were a few more surprising wins in the middle of the century. Galahadian, a 35 to one long shot, won in 1940, beating out the favorite, Bimelech. One of the biggest upsets came from Dark Star in 1953, who beat the favorite, Native Dancer, by just a head in a photo finish. 
His odds were 25 to 1. And in 1967, Proud Clarion won by a length at 30 to 1 odds. Damascus, a horse that came in with many wins, placed third that year and went on to win both the Preakness and the Belmont. At odds of 50 to 1, Giacomo shocked race fans with a win in 2005. Ridden by Mike E. Smith, Giacomo was in the middle of the pack for the majority of the race. On the final turn toward home, there were roughly 10 horses that still had a chance at winning. In the final 16th of a mile, a fleet Alex and closing argument were neck and neck until Giacomo, who only had one win under his belt, came flying on the outside to take the win by a half length. Who doesn't remember Mind That Bird in 2009? This was the race where the track was sloppy from all the overnight rain. All eyes were on the front runners, Pioneer of the Nile and Musket Man. Mind That Bird had trouble out of the starting gate and was eight lengths behind the group. But veteran jockey Calvin Burrell used his famous rail skim technique that won him the 07 Derby with Street Sense to charge past the other horses on the backstretch. Even NBC's announcer Tom Durkin was stunned. Mind that bird rallied to win by six and three quarter lengths for the longest margin of victory in over 60 years. A $2 win wager returned $103.20 tying Mind That Bird with Giacomo for the third biggest upset win at the Kentucky Derby. Only Donna Rail in 1913 and 2019's Country House ranked higher. The 2019 Kentucky Derby was mired in controversy. Maximum security crossed the finish line first, but he was disqualified after swerving away from the rail, impeding the progress of several other horses and nearly causing a collision. The second horse to cross the finish line was Country House, who was named the winner after a 20 minute delay. At odds of 65 to one, he has the second highest odds of any Kentucky Derby winner after only 1913's winner, Donna Rail. Spring seems like it's officially underway when the first weekend of May rolls around. All eyes are on Churchill Downs, celebrating the pageantry and tradition of the Kentucky Derby. As fans of sport, we love a good race, and we certainly love the underdog. And the Kentucky Derby always delivers with three-year-old thoroughbreds, jockeys in colorful silks, and a massive crowd dressed to the nines. We inhale at the start and don't exhale for those exhilarating two minutes. Usually, it's the heavily favored horse that gets the roses. But sometimes a horse, against all expectations and ridiculous odds, rises up and captures the roses at the biggest race of them all, the Kentucky Derby. Thanks for watching Heartbeats on the Sports Beat. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next inspiring sports story.